this project is the image of fish and there are some reasons for that and I thought that they'd be worth sharing. So when I was thinking about what it was I wanted to call this little uh, project online, um, I was thinking a lot about Marshall McLuhan. Now Marshall McLuhan is a 1960s, 70s media theorist, communication scholar. He's famous for phrases like, the medium is the message, the global village, and lots of other kinds of things that have become popularized. Um, Wired Magazine has named Marshall McLuhan their patron saint, and um, some folks refer to him as the, the internet prophet. He predicted a lot of the connective things that were going on. Anyway, I'm really a communications guy. I've thought a lot about language and how it impacts folks, uh, both poetically, pragmatically, and kind of literarily. And McLuhan is really a kind of foundational thinker for me. And one of the things that he said was that um, while we don't know who discovered water, we're pretty sure that it wasn't the fish. Now, obviously, he's being kind of glib there, but actually, I think that that's a fairly astute assessment of studies, especially when we try to be uh, anthropological, um, philosophical, and theological. So, that is to say, we are swimming around in the divine presence. However you want to name that, as creativity, as the Holy Spirit, as your walk with Jesus, that my understanding of the divine is such that it is so pervasive that in fact we are in and amidst it right now. So to study it within it is difficult. People have understood that for a long time. Um, however, we've developed tools, whether they're phenomenological or f just straight up philosophical or, or certain kinds of theology that we say can help us understand what it is that God is, what it is that divinity is, what it is that religion is. Now, sometimes we've been successful, sometimes less successful. Part of what I'm trying to think about is how is it that we can be more successful? So, the image of fish is this little fish image and this mirror image and this is what's going on. The image of fish is a reminder that the thing we're studying is the thing that we're surrounded in, just like the fish are surrounded in water, and that regardless of how great we think the man-made object is, the mirror or the theology or the philosophy, it doesn't quite reflect perfectly what we are and what reality is. And it's pretty good, but it doesn't always get the whole picture and it doesn't always get it without distortion. So it's useful for us to see ourselves and to see the world perhaps more clearly through our productions and through our objects and tools and medium and technologies. But we shouldn't think that the picture is ever completely done and that when we're looking at something we've created, we've nailed it completely. McLuhan also said, first we master our tools and then our tools master us. It's really important as philosophers and theologians and pastors we have some room for creativity and flexibility and we understand that while some things are true, we can be provisional about those truths, being willing to continue to learn and without needing to be stern or stepping our foot and snapping other people's dreams. We can be flexible while still remaining Christians and still remaining faithful. And hopefully through the course of what it is that we're going to be doing in this blog, we'll figure out some specific ways that we can work together to do that.